mm-hmm. uh, that are brand new. And Jerry, you might have seen one or both of these yourself. I don't. Uh, I, don't I haven't seen Still Alice, so that's, mm-hmm. I know that's the okay. one that you want to talk about. Well, since you mentioned Still Alice, let's go to Still Alice first. This is like uh, th- this was an odd movie because, in terms of the Oscar season, because people started to talk about Julianne Moore as a front runner for Best Actress before they had actually even seen the movie, <laughs> which is which is odd. Which is always weird, you know, like going to the – I mean, I know it's their stock and trade going to the sites to, to prognosticate the Oscars and everything, but it is bizarre seeing them make predictions of movies that uh, Yeah, but they really don't they know anything. Seen. It's like yeah. predicting who will win the Super Bowl before the season starts. You know, you can't yes, – Yeah, not, exactly. You know, like before they, Dean and I have slightly t- different – Takes on this movie, but I, I don't think we're as far off as as we might you, we might believe. So, the, yeah. first of all, let, let's get your thoughts on it. <clears throat> well, the first two thirds of it, like, come down when she. I mean, it's of course it's about like a university professor or whatever, a professor of linguistics actually, who uh, who gets who gets early onset Alzheimer's disease and she's she's married to uh, a a businessman a very successful businessman played by uh, Alec Baldwin has grown kids and stuff Uh, one of them is an actress played by uh, uh, Kristen Stewart and um, so you know the first two thirds of it to me were very very blah and sort of like Okay, this is just it's just like a TV movie, exactly like a TV movie. Like I, I know that can be a cliche, but it really did feel like one of those disease of the week things, like back in the seventies. And then it gets interesting. I'll tell you where it does get interesting is in the two thirds, the last third of it, where the um, where it seems like the family sort of almost breaks with her in a certain way because their uh their desires you know they they get kind of fed up with it all and 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 they start looking especially Alec Baldwin starts looking at his own desires to further his own business career and so forth above her needs and i that's where i thought it got interesting um and uh and dramatic uh because everything else everything else up to that point i thought was just stuff that i'd already seen in a hundred other movies. And as far as Julianne Moore goes, she's fine, but she's given a th- a hundreds of better, per- I mean, you know, at least 20 better performances. So for this to be her Oscar winning performance, simply because she's playing a smart person who's, who's losing it. Uh, and, uh, it's, you know, which is kind of a cliched kind of category of performance to give Oscars to, if you ask me, uh, uh, you know, just because she's doing this doesn't mean that she deserves the Oscar. I mean, I just think it's absurd. But uh, and I think it's also absurd that that you know, in talking about the Oscars as well, that uh, if she wins and then Eddie Redmayne wins for basically the same thing and yeah, in the theory of everything. Well, Eddie, Eddie Redmayne should not win. Eddie <laughs> I mean, Redmayne should not win at all. Yeah, well, we're going to get to that movie in a minute, but. Um, but uh, so that's that's basically how I felt about. It. I did not feel that it was inventively directed at all, or written, or anything. I just I felt almost zero about it. It, it only got interesting in the last thirty minutes. Okay. Well, uh, I was I was very moved by it, but only because I think I was just moved by the deterioration of uh, what Alzheimer's can do. Really what this is, is it's a movie that means well. I mean, it's a movie yeah. that wants to, do, wants to do good in terms of showing or raising awareness about this disease. So, right. but, does it, but does it work as a, as a movie? And most of the time it does not. But there are some ideas in there that are not developed, but they're they're kind of just scratched upon in the movie that I think if they were developed, this could have been a, a real stunner of a movie. And I'll just give mm-hmm. you an idea of one of those ideas. One of them concerns Kristen Stewart's character, who is this girl that, you know, her parents are very educated academics. Um, and she's uh, not like that. She wants to be an actress. She's more impulsive. So she moves to the to California 
And every time that she's with her mother, her mother says, I think you should go back to school. You know, acting's fine as a backup. You need a, ba- you need a good backup. You need to go to get educated. And she refuses. And I think one of the developments that could have been powerfully interesting is if she finally was able to communicate with her mother and relate to her mother as her own person because her mother was compromised by this disease. Like, it's terrible that her mother's suffering from this disease, but because of that, she finally has a way in to actually relate to her mother. That's true. That's an interesting – that is an interesting aspect of it that does come in that last 30 minutes. I mean, the, uh, so, I, 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 again, I, I, yeah, I totally agree. Now, I like Kristen Stewart in the movie, and I think she does a monologue at the end. I mean, it isn't like standing up and performing a monologue like you're fully in character, but she kind of recites a monologue from Angels in America. And I think that it's one of the best pieces of acting she's ever done is her her reciting of that monologue. And, mm. and I, yeah. I, do love, I do love the grace note that the very end of the movie. I do mm. love that last, that last line. As I, Hallmark, I, I agree. Is, I love that stuff. I need to ask you guys a question, though. I need okay. to ask both of you a question. How does this compare to Julie Christie and Away From Her? Well, Away From, uh, her, away from her was a much better movie. movie. <laughs> yeah. 